Hello and welcome to another Infinite Flight Air Trap Control tutorial. My name is Tyler and today we're talking about radar vectors from Boeing Field in Seattle. First, I want to select the airport icon on the map so that I can find important information like weather, the field elevation, which frequencies are active, and we can also look at the runways that are available at Boeing Field to determine which one is going to be the best. It'll be 3 1 left for this session. Now, let's talk about what a radar vector is. Radar vectors are requested when an aircraft wants a heading and altitude to their desired airport. So here we have November 73 Mike Delta, who is requesting radar vectors to Boeing Field. First, I'm going to respond to the request and press send. Next, we want to go and give a vector towards the airport, which in this case I'm going to vector him towards a left base. And we also want to start descending him. Right now he's at 8,000 feet, so we're going to give him 5,500 and a vector towards a left base for runway 31 left. The next person to call me is Corporate 211 at the top of your screen. He's also requesting radar vectors to Boeing Field, so we're going to respond to the request and press send. Now I need to decide where I want to bring him into the field. So I could either bring him to a left downwind for runway 31 left or a right downwind, but I see there's traffic, Foxtrot Charlie app is here at Tango right there. So I'm going to go ahead and vector him so that he enters a left downwind for runway 31 left. The next person to call me is Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango, who's requesting radar vectors to Portland International. Now if we click on the aircraft icon, we can take a look at his flight plan, and we can see that Portland is far outside of our area responsibility, and we won't be able to provide service all the way there. So I'm going to respond to the request and select deny. Descend and maintain 2005. Because we won't be providing service to Foxtrot Charlie Alpha Sierra Tango, we'll go ahead and issue a frequency change so that you can contact Portland Unicom and proceed on course. So first I'm going to open up his flight progress strip. We'll select contact other frequency and we'll select Portland Unicom. So now he leaves our frequency and this ensures that we only have necessary aircraft on our frequency so that we don't clog anything up when it gets busy. Before we hand off November 73 Mike Delta to tower, we're going to send them to a standard pattern altitude of about 1,500 feet above field elevation, which we found earlier in the video. So here we descend down to 1,500 because field elevation is only 20 feet. And we can also use our drag and vector feature holding it over the destination to find that he's about 12 miles from the airport. Now typically at 10 miles is when we want to go and issue that frequency change. So here we go to contact other frequency. Boeing Field Unicom, and our job is done with November 73 Mike Delta. Now, when you're issuing radar vectors to an airport, the whole purpose is to provide a sequence for the tower controller and help out a little bit. So you can see here we have November 73 Mike Delta established on the left base for 31 left. Then from here I can issue a vector to Corporate 211 to enter the left downwind along with our descent pattern altitude of 1,500. So here we're helping out the tower controller by setting a very clear sequence of 73 Mike Delta being number one and Corporate 211 being number two. As soon as I see Corporate 211 making that turn into the downwind, I'm going to give the frequency change to Boeing Field, and we're done. Thank you all for joining another Infinite Flight Air Traffic Control tutorial. My name's Tyler, and today we talked about radar vectors. For more great tutorials like this one, subscribe to the YouTube channel or find us at community.infiniteflight.com. As always, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for news and updates, and we'll see you next time. Happy controlling.